my social studies teacher, um, he does the Chinese GIV and he told us about the whole GIV like, camp experience. And so I looked at them and engineering and IT both looked really fun. So I signed up for both of them and then I got into IT. So here I am. <laughs> I guess I applied because I thought it would be fun and the information that we learn here is like you can't you don't really get it anywhere else. Like they don't teach this stuff at school. And I was really interested in Dreamweaver and Photoshop, so that kind of drove me to learning more about it. It was mostly my mom that was like pushing me to come because she knows that computers are like, I don't know, they're the future, I guess. Well, they're the now, but also the future. So learning stuff about it will one be useful and interesting. I'd been to the winter weekend in the engineering strand and I had a really awesome time and so I decided I wanted to do one of the summer camps. I've always been really interested in information technology, stuff like that, computer sciences, so I wanted to come and check it out. And so I'm learning new things and it's really fast paced but I'm hoping that I'll know enough to you know, explore it further and have that interest. I think I like the downtime more because I really like getting to know the people that are here. So just like being with them is fun. I'm definitely considering something with IT or engineering and like code like my mom does. And it sounds like a lot more fun now that I've actually seen what it is. And it always looked kind of boring before. Uh, I've always been interested in Flash, like Flash games. always wanted to know how to make one. I'd recently gotten into a bit of basic programming, so I wanted to expand on that. There's just so much stuff that you can do on them that you can't do really anywhere else, like Photoshop. You can't put someone's face on someone else's body, like, just like if you were to have two pictures, it wouldn't work. I think I just like knowing, like, that you made something, like, even if it's just digital, it's there, and it looks really cool, and it's a lot of fun just like feeling like, oh, I just made that. Um, I've kind of been interested in journalism and then kind of like digital media at the same time. So I'm kind of exploring both things. Aerospace engineer, particle physicist, flash developer, I don't know. I don't know, I want to help people. Um, I've always wanted to be a doctor, but I've kind of been leaning away from it. I want to continue using a lot of the programs I've been working with here independently. I like a lot of technology. I take a lot of higher math classes, so that's something, that's one of my strong suits, but I don't know if I would ever go into that. I probably want to take a couple of classes in programming if I can, maybe in college, and I don't think we have any at the high school though. I'm definitely going to want to play around with some of the stuff we did in the classes. My mom's a software engineer, so I'll probably talk to her about that. I hope to be in college. I want to stay local, like here or Middlebury. It's changing every day. I mean, technology is so fast paced. I think definitely what they say about how it's kind of the future for all of us, and which is why we need to learn it. And um, I think it's just soon it's going to be almost all IT oriented. Everything is becoming technology based now. I, I think everyone is going to have a computer chip in their brains at some point in time, and then you can just go on the internet in your brain. I really think that someone's going to just go on Facebook all the time and be able to like think something and have it pop up on a screen. If you're just building a game, that's probably not going to help many people, but if it's like a game about teaching kids science, that would help them learn and that would be great. That would be really fun actually. <laughs>